your YouTube videos will get monetized faster if you honestly fill in the ad suitability form. Look, my videos will monetize faster. YouTube said I've been doing good work filling out this questionnaire accurately for my previous videos. And after some time, for us it took months, we got this message saying our videos will monetize faster, we will earn more money and save time requesting reviews. Do you do this as well? Answer these questions honestly. Have you gotten this keep up the good work when you upload a video in the ad suitability section of the new YouTube uploader? That's a mouthful. Tell us down there in the comments below how long it took you to see this notice. Now let's go over the key points. You have to fill in this questionnaire for every video you upload and if you answer it honestly and consistently, consistently then you will get your videos monetized faster. All of this is documented on the YouTube help article right here. These are the advertiser friendly guidelines. The link is down there in the description below where I encourage you to read everything carefully about all of these topics to see if they relate to your videos. There is another article, the link is down there in the description below, about rating your content with self-certification, also an official YouTube help article, which talks about similar things, but there is different tips and I recommend you read both articles carefully. This is very important guys because monetization is the key to you going full time. You want to make as much money as possible from your content and that's how you can follow your passion so that this business will pay all your bills making videos. It pays all my bills. I've been a full time YouTuber now for many years. I took a different path than most of you. Instead of just focusing on creating videos, I created Freedom, the MCN that helps all of us grow together as a family. I was gonna say it helps you grow, but it actually helps everyone grow together. YouTube hired 10,000 new people two years ago, as announced on the official blog, to do human reviews of channels since 2018. Now, fun fact, I just noticed this. There's a 30 million subscriber channel at youtube.com slash YouTube. YouTube.com slash user slash YouTube. This is it. Is this a real channel? It says I'm subscribed. I don't remember subscribing to this channel. It might be an auto-generated channel. Tell me what you think in the comments below, guys. But I digress. Back to the topic. This is the first time YouTube has ever transparently communicated all of its monetization policies and exactly which content gives you limited ads versus no ads versus full ads. I think this is a great step in the direction of transparency and I hope YouTube will continue updating these policies and telling us when they change in the future. Now let's read some of your deserving comments and I have a new strategy of how I read comments. Every time I pick a comment to feature on The George Show, I will also show the YouTube channel who made the comment. Let's start. Retaliate wrote eight hours ago, Hey Freedom, I've been trying to get verified for nine months now. Let's have a look at your channel, Retaliate. You have 200,000 subscribers. You are not verified yet. If you want to know how to verify your channel or how we can help get you verified, click that I, which was my last video talking exactly about this topic, YouTube verification. I replied to him, congrats on reaching 200k subs. Sadly, YouTube only allows us to escalate verification badges for channels partnered with Freedom. Have you ever been partnered with us? See our website. We do have direct access to YouTube support because we are an MCN. We have a team dedicated to answering questions on behalf of our partners. Sadly, that does not include anyone else outside of Freedom, even if we want to. I can refer you to the official YouTube help article, the link is down there in the description below, that talks about verification and has a apply link that you can click retaliate to get verified if you are not part of a network like Freedom. Oh, and if you want to check out Retaliate's channel, the link to it is down there in the description below, just like every other channel I will feature when I read their comment. Quintus Maximus wrote 20 hours ago, 
I think you're supposed to gong that bell, George, as I believe Nold says it. At the end of my episodes, I advise you to dong that bell. And I think you're right, Quintus. I'll say gong from now on. Let's go have a look at your channel. Quintus Maximus. How come you don't have a default video, Quintus? A trailer that introduces your channel for new uh, subscribers. I'm curious. Quintus also makes the Freedom Island episodes. Here they are. And if you want to watch them, just visit his channel and click play all. Cookie HD Gamer said, I've heard that employees of an MCN can get verified under 100K subscribers. And I replied that used to be true, but right now YouTube requires 100K, no exceptions. Cookie said he's heard about Google local guides, which got verified as a benefit for posting great content. Is that true? Can you get verified if you don't have 100K subscribers? I've never seen any official documentation about this. So if you have, send us a link down there in the comments below because I'd love to share it with everybody so we can all help each other grow together as a family. I replied the same, asking the same to Cookie and I'm waiting for your reply. Let's take a look at your channel, Cookie Games HD. Oh, you don't have any content. Let's check your videos tab. You also don't have any content. Why not? IBM Gaming wrote, nice to see you uploading again, George. I also missed you, Ibby, in the comments. Let's have a look at your channel. Here is IBM Gaming, my holiday teaser. If you'd like to check out Ibby, click the link down there in the description below. Argonian TV is a new commenter. I haven't seen you here before. Welcome to our community. He said that polls weren't heavily used, but he did give one example of Gray Still Plays, a gaming channel with over 3 million subscribers who had a poll on every single video. His channel was tied to the polls and when YouTube removed them on June 10th, then all of those polls just disappeared. His audience will have nothing to vote on on his videos, which really sucks. And so I asked Argonian TV, uh, what is the channel or an owner doing instead of polls? Is he using the community tab? And he replied, in his case, his polls had to do with the video itself, so it wouldn't make sense if he did them in a community post. Argonian TV, let's have a look at your channel. You only have two videos and nine subs 19 subscribers. How come? And your last upload was eight years ago. I think it's time you never gave up and started uploading again, don't you? The Music Drop wrote 22 hours ago, Hi Freedom Family, we are a music promotion and record label and we work with a lot of music promotion. I asked him, how do you get written permission by email, a website, or a custom contract that you wrote when you upload music to your channel? And they wrote, thank you for the heart on our comment. They're talking about this little heart that I gave him because I liked his comment. Then he said, so we usually get in touch with artists through Instagram and ask to give us in writing, which we can use as written proof, and it works. It does not always have to be in the form of a contract because the respective artist is always in charge of whether to take down. I actually think a contract is the safest way, not just an Instagram post, because those can be faked. How do you know for sure this is the actual artist giving you permission? And how do you know the artist isn't subject to a contract with his record label that prevents him or maybe the record label can overrule him based on their contract? So I think it's best to be safe and have contracts for every piece of music that you upload. And let's have a look at your channel, Music Drop. Here it is with 1.1K subscribers. As you said, you are a music promo channel and a record label. Dare Sky wrote 23 hours ago, nice video. Every user starts with four pennies. He's referring to my daughter, Avienda, who earned four pennies in the last 28 days that she's very proud of. When I reached 10 pennies, I was very happy. And then I reached a dollar, $5, $12, then 20. And now he's jumped to 48 to $51 a month on his channel. That's awesome, Dare Sky. Let's have a look at your content. Here's Dare Sky with 3.7 thousand subscribers. 
And if you want to check his channel out, I really like his thumbnails. Very easy to read, the text is very clear. His link is down there in the description below. LW001 wrote one day ago, Always great to see some of the old faces I know from the forums still around here as well, if only the forums had more people again. I wrote, I would love to get more people on our community forums too. What do you suggest we do to revitalize community.tm slash forums? Since we're showing YouTube channels commenting, why don't we show the subject of the comment as well? Here are the Freedom Forums, which I've talked about in previous episodes and encouraged all of you to introduce yourself here on the Introduce Yourself Forum. The link is down there in the description below. Now let's have a look at your channel, LW001. How do you pronounce your name, by the way? Is it LW001, LW001, LWOL? You tell me. He has 188 subscribers. His channel, well, LW, why is your channel four years old? Surely you must have a more recent channel trailer. I encourage you to update it. And if you want to check his channel out, the link is down there in the description below. Let's stop here for now. Do you like this format of showing the channel for each comment that I read? Tell me down there in the comments below. If you do, I will continue it in future episodes. Or if you'd like me to do something else regarding these comments as I read them, I'm open to suggestion. I'd love to hear your feedback, Freedom Family. I hope you found this episode helpful about getting monetized faster. Do you have any suggestions for other videos you would like to see made by me? Tell me down there in the comments below. I have a long list of topics I want to cover. I will try making one new video every single day but I will be going on a short trip to Atlantis over the next two days. So I may not make videos in the next two days. Sorry about that guys, but I'll have plenty of pictures to show from my short trip. And did you know that I started learning the Dvorak keyboard? This is the Dvorak keyboard layout here. I decided to start learning it because I read that Dvorak, your fingers move very like much less distance because the keys that are common in the English language are much closer to the home row so that you don't have repetitive stress injury. I'm told that as you get older, which I'm getting older, I'm 44 years old now, Freedom Family, that typing on a QWERTY keyboard, which is the standard layout, you can get uh, tendonitis and pains in your wrists, which I have experienced in the past, but they've always gone away because I exercise regularly and I found aerobic exercise is the best form of pain removal. But my point is, I have felt it in the past and I hope that the Dvorak keyboard will reduce the amount of distance my fingers have to travel as I get better at typing. Have you ever tried the Dvorak keyboard, Freedom Family? The link to this training session is down there in the description below. And I've now gotten to the last lesson, lesson five, where I can type the full keyboard in Dvorak, but my speed is only like 25 words per minute, and my QWERTY speed is like 125 words per minute, so there's a big difference. I haven't had any issues switching between QWERTY and Dvorak, so I think it's just a matter of time before my brain and muscle memory adjust to this layout. The cool thing is I can also just press Control shift and you can see I'm now on the Dvorak keyboard, and control shift again on my windows switches me back to the English layout. So it's a very simple way to switch uh, between layouts once you've installed the Dvorak keyboard in your Windows settings. But this website explains all that if you're curious to learn more. And I still need to get my exercise today. I wanna go swimming. I have only 30 minutes to go swimming before they close the pool. So I'm gonna end this video now and get some exercise. And I encourage you to get exercise too. Have you done anything today, even for 30 minutes to give, to build a sweat? If not, get off that chair and go, go, go. <laughs> Hope this helps. Who am I? I am the CEO and founder of Freedom. I am George, and that's not the order I normally say it in, but I'm in a bit of a rush, so you've been, oh, if you like this video, click the like button and dong that notification bell after subscribing so you don't miss an episode. And click that uh, I to get 
the playlist of all the episodes of The George Show in case you missed any. And hopefully you enjoy the videos I'm making for you. I certainly enjoy making them. Be safe. I am George, and you've been watching The George Show. Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.